If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless Let's you. Let's go to Matthew chapter 23, verses 11 through 12. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. So what does exalt mean? Let's look it up. Hold someone or something in very high regard. Think or speak very highly of. So when you exalt someone, you are speaking highly of them. You are complimenting them. You are pretty much pushing that person to the forefront. Praising that person. Let's look up a based. Behave in a way so as to belittle or degrade someone. So, pretty much you are mocking, humiliate, belittle a person. So you are degrading that person. Let's look up the word humble. Let's do it. Having or showing modest or low estimate of one's own importance. So, we all need to be humble. Here we go. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. So, the person who believes themselves to be the greatest or the person who is the servant or no the person who is the leader of a group or organization they need to be the servant but how things are now the leader is the one who is being served when it should be the leader of the group should be serving people. So things are backward nowadays. Verse 12, And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. So we said that exalt is pretty much Think or speak very highly of. So in this scripture here, it is saying a person who is exalting himself. So this person is speaking highly of themselves. <laughs> so a prideful person, not humble. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. So when you speak highly of yourself in this prideful manner, this is saying that you are going to be belittled. You are going to be degraded. You are going to have someone mock you. You are going to be humiliated. <laughs> okay. And he that shall humble himself, which is what? Having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. So this is saying the more humble that you are, the more that you are going to be praised. I know for myself, if I am around a humble person or people, I am willing to go out my way much more 
when a person is humble. Back in 2012 or 13, I forget, I was with or hanging with a humble person. Even though I did not want to do what that person wanted to do, because that person was acting so humble, even though I was really, really tired, I still would do as that person asked. Even when I did not want to do it, but I did it anyway, even though at times I was sick. But because that person was so grateful and appreciated what I was doing for that person, that made me want to do it more. Because in truth, who really wants to do things for a person who is ungrateful? <laughs> like don't really appreciate what you are doing for them. Who really wants to go out their way and do things for that person? Not I, but I do it anyway, but Listen, the more humble that you are, the better things are going to be for you. The more that people are willing to go out their way to help you. But if you have this self-entitlement thinking or believe that things should be a certain way and you act in this ungrateful arrogant, cocky manner, <laughs> things are not going to be right with you. So to get what you want, I guess you can say, it is much more wiser or much more wise to be humble by far. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.